Ever stop to think about the little things that make life easier? Like the humble safety pin. It's small, simple, and unassuming, but incredibly useful. It's been around for over a century, quietly saving the day. But have you ever wondered how this tiny invention is actually made? Let's take a closer look at the fascinating journey of how a piece of wire is transformed into the classic safety pin we all know and rely on, right here on History of Simple Things. Before we jump into the machines and processes, here's a fun fact. The modern safety pin was patented in 1849 by Walter Hunt, an American inventor. He designed it in just three hours to pay off a $15 debt and ended up creating something timeless. What made his design brilliant was its spring mechanism and the protective clasp that prevents the sharp end from poking anyone. Now, fast forward over 170 years. The design has barely changed. That's how perfect it was from the start. It all begins with a roll of high carbon steel wire. This material is strong, springy, and perfect for a tool that needs to bend, but also return to its original shape. The wire usually comes on large spools, sometimes weighing hundreds of pounds. These coils are fed into the safety pin-making machine, where the real transformation begins. The wire first passes through a straightening unit. This is essential because the wire on a coil has a natural curve. To make a uniform pin, the wire must be perfectly straight. This is done using a series of rollers that gently force the wire flat as it moves forward. Once straight, the wire is cut into the precise length needed for one safety pin. Each piece of wire now becomes a blank, a small straight rod that will soon become a functioning safety pin. Next comes the spring. If you've ever looked closely at a safety pin, you'll see a tight coil near the hinge. That coil isn't just for show. It's what gives the pin its tension and allows it to snap back into place. The machine grabs one end of the wire and begins wrapping it tightly around a small mandrel to create that coil. It's done with precision and speed. Machines can make hundreds of these in just a minute. The exact number of coils is carefully calculated. Too few, and the pin won't snap shut securely. Too many, and it becomes hard to open. Usually, two to three full turns are enough for optimal performance. Once the spring is in place, it's time to sharpen the business end, the point that does the actual work. One end of the wire is clamped down and spun rapidly while a grinding wheel shapes it into a sharp tip, but it's not razor sharp. Safety is in the name, after all. The point is made just sharp enough to pierce through fabric, but not skin. The tip is also often slightly rounded off at the very end to reduce injury risk. Now comes the most iconic part of the safety pin, the clasp. That little curled up section at the bottom isn't just there for storage, it's a crucial safety feature. It covers the sharp tip and prevents accidental jabs when the pin is closed. This is formed by bending the other end of the wire into a hook or cap-like shape. Using high precision molds and hydraulic presses, the machine creates the classic clasp that holds the point snugly when closed. Then the body of the pin is bent into its familiar oval shape. It may seem simple, but this bend determines how the pin functions. It needs to allow just enough movement for the clasp and spring to work together, but still maintain enough tension to snap shut and stay shut.
After each individual part is shaped, it's time to assemble the pin. In most modern factories, this happens automatically within one large machine that performs multiple operations in a synchronized rhythm. The pointed end is inserted into the clasp, and the whole pin is tested for tension and flexibility. Every single safety pin must open easily, snap shut, and stay secure. The pins are tumbled together in large polishing drums with abrasive compounds to smooth out any rough edges. Then, they go through electroplating, usually with nickel, brass, or zinc, depending on the final look and intended use. This not only gives them their shiny appearance, but adds an important layer of protection. In some cases, colored coatings are added too, for decorative or craft purposes. Finally, the finished pins are sorted and counted, usually by automated machines, into the familiar cardboard and plastic packs you see in stores. Some brands even print usage tips or warnings on the back. Once packaged, they're boxed up, shipped out, and sent to stores, craft suppliers, hospitals, tailors, and households all over the world. Behind every safety pin is a surprisingly meticulous process. From selecting strong steel wire to shaping and sharpening, every step is designed with precision in mind. Machines twist, cut, and form the metal while skilled hands inspect the final pieces to ensure quality and reliability. It's a quiet reminder that even the simplest objects often have a complex story behind them. So there you have it, the journey of the humble safety pin, from raw wire to indispensable everyday tool. Next time you reach for one during a fashion emergency or to hang a name tag, Take a second to appreciate the tiny marvel in your hand. It may be simple, but it's nothing short of brilliant. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.